The Harvard Business Publishing HBP catalog can be integrated into the Blackboard SAS LMS platform, which allows for simple tool integration and unlimited access to HBP course materials for students, instructors, and course administrators. In this video, we will guide course administrators and instructors through creating integrated HBP content links to Blackboard courses. We will also offer recommended best practices when creating and delivering HBP materials via LMS integration. Adding HBP content to courses in Blackboard SAS. When the HBP LTI tool has been integrated in your Blackboard environment, adding new content links can be completed in a few short steps. Log into your Blackboard environment and navigate to the desired course. From the left navigation bar, Click Content, then Build Content. Click the Harvard Business Publishing Catalog tool. Selecting this tool will bring you to the HBP Picker page. From here, you have three options. One, enter the full product number for the desired content. Make sure to include all numbers and letters in capitalized letters. Two. Click Search Full Catalog and the HBP website will open in a new tab. Here, you can browse the full catalog for content. Copy the product number from the website and paste into the text box back in Blackboard. 3. Select a specific eProduct HTML type from the drop down menu, then select an eProduct title. This does not apply to cases, articles, or other PDF materials. Product numbers for PDF-based items must be entered in the text box. Click Submit once your product number has been entered or your product title has been selected. Content must be added one product at a time. The Add Content to Your Course page will appear with the title of the HBP item you've submitted, as well as an item description. Click Add Item to create the content link. The link has now been created in the content area of the Blackboard course. Click the content link and a new browser tab will open. Click on View Document to launch the content in a new tab. Click on Download PDF to download the content to your computer. Repeat this process as needed to build your course using Harvard Business Publishing materials. Administering simulations through Blackboard, adding HTM-based e-product items, is done in the same way. Products can be added by entering the full product number or selecting a title from the e-learning dropdown. For this guide, the following illustration shows selection via the e-learning dropdown list. Select the simulation category from the first dropdown and from the second dropdown, select the title. Click on the simulation link from the content page and a new browser tab will open. Click Manage Simulation. You will be automatically logged in to the facilitator screen, allowing you to manage the simulation as an administrator. All team and role assignments can now be completed from within the simulation. Blackboard Course Roster and HBP. Simulations multiplayer and multi scenario simulations involve setup in advance of play requiring the student roster to be pre-populated within the simulation. We recommend checking the simulation roster prior to official play to ensure all students have been assigned roles and scenarios accordingly. If a new student joins the course after the simulation link has been added, or if there are last-minute changes to course enrollments, you can run the Roster Reload tool from the Blackboard content page which will refresh the enrolled students and update the user list within the simulation. To refresh the simulation user list, go to the Course Content page in the left navigation menu, click Course Tools, then select Harvard Business Publishing Roster Reload. Under the course name, select the simulation product number from the Select Availability dropdown. The product number should correspond to the simulation for which you are reloading the roster. When you see the message, the roster is still reloading, please check again in a couple of minutes. Click back to your course page. The refresh should happen within a few seconds. Click on the link to the simulation that you just refreshed 
and confirm that you see additional students in the simulation user list. The number of students that you see in the simulation user list should match the number of students that are enrolled in the Blackboard course.